Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. That was that was far. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing this video that it's like really popular around YouTube right now, and I've seen um, Jackie Ayanna do it. I've seen who else? I think Laura Lee. She did it too. What they're doing a full face of makeup using products that they hate products that just did not work well with them. So today I'm gonna to do that because I have a couple products and one product I just used in one of my recent makeup tutorials and I turned out to absolutely hate it. I really regret the purchase, so you'll see what that is um, in the video, but yeah, so let's just get on started, okay? So first, I usually start with my brows. So, the... <laughs> I'm so upset because the name actually rubbed off like that kind of, like the packaging kind of sucked because the name already like rubbed off of it. But this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Prep and Shape Pro Kit. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It comes with a brow, I guess a brow pomade or a brow wax and a brow powder. And then it also comes with this little extra tiny miniature spoolie <laughs> and a set of tweezers. I think they're super cute because they're super duper small. But like honestly, when will I ever use those? So I'm gonna start off, cause I don't, I don't use brow wax, so I don't really wanna like use that at all. I'm just gonna do my makeup how I normally would, and I'm actually gonna put effort into this video. Like, I'm not just gonna slap it on my face, I'm actually gonna like try to make it look nice. I'm gonna use the um, dark powder. is when I've used this before, I never got this much color payoff, and the day that I'm recording the video trying to tell you guys how much I hate it, it would try to work, right? It would try to have a little bit of pigment come through. Rude. And honestly, I did try using the wax with it. That wax is like so white. It's really, really light, and it like really made my brows look greasy, like I'm not, I'm not here for that. I'm not using that. I should have showed y'all how that looked, really. As good as they're gonna get. Cause if you guys seen in my eyebrow tutorial video, you guys know I'm growing my brows out. So here I don't have, you know, as much hair as I do on this brow. So I need a brow powder that can like fill that in and like, you know, hide it. This brow powder is just, it's just sliding over it and it's not even, it's not even helping me, like it's not pigmented enough. I think this this powder will be great if you have like really full brows, really beautiful brows. Like if you're blessed with those brows, you're good. But for me, I'm, I, I don't like it. Now we're moving on to concealer. This concealer is by Beauty Treats. Um, it's a concealer palette. And I got it off of Amazon. And I used this, cause I used it in like a Halloween tutorial, at least I tried to use it in a Halloween tutorial. It was trash. Like these concealers, they don't blend. They're kind of like wax, I wanna say. They're kind of greasy, kind of like the same texture as that brow um, wax. So yeah, but the concealer that I'm gonna use today, I think I'm gonna use this color or yeah, that color to clean up my brows or to attempt to clean up my brows.
Alright, boom. We got brows or something like them. Alright. Sorry guys, I was chewing gum. That's rude, huh? All right, moving on to primer. I'm using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Primer. It's supposed to be a skin perfecting primer and it's supposed to increase foundation wear for up to eight hours. But if you have oily skin, don't even go near it, okay? So I use it on my you know, drier skin clients and it makes their skin look bomb because it has like these like kind of has like a pearl sheen to it. So if you have like drier areas, it'll kind of like, you know, it won't let the foundation like stick to your dry flakes, but it didn't, I, I, I found this out just using it by experience because it doesn't say anywhere here that it's like hydrating or anything, but I noticed that this works better on drier skin, on oily skin. It did nothing for me, honestly. It was like putting lotion under like putting lotion on as a primer and like it does make your skin look nice like has a little little pearl little highlight like a little natural looking highlight but yeah no not for oily skin like my foundation will slip in this way and slip in that way okay so now y'all probably gonna be shocked okay shocked but the pri the foundation that I don't like that I tried to like, I tried so hard, but it's the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. I wanted to like this so bad, and as you can see, I even used most of it. I actually wore this to find out if I like it or not, and I'm in the color Truly Topaz. <sighs> Just wait sings into every fine line that I own. <laughs> every fine line that I have on my face is gonna find it and it's gonna sink into it. And I think it's kind of too yellow tone for me. This is the only, this is one that matched me the closest, but this undertone is too yellow for me. I think I'm more of like a, a orangey, a orange undertone. Cause the next one up, I forgot the shade it was. Cause this, this almost makes it look like it's too light. Actually, it does. Like I look like I have mustard on my face. Try to drag it down, see if that helps. But no, I still look like, what do I look like? Y'all tell me in the comments what I look like. I'm just really, really yellow. I look like a lemon. I look like a mango. See, it blends out really well and it has nice coverage, but if I was to just, you know, smile, even after setting it and like it'll, the, like it'll wrinkle, not really wrinkle, it'll set into the lines here. Definitely, this is where I noticed it the most, super set into the lines right here, my smile lines, it was just like, I looked at I looked at myself in the mirror like a couple hours after having this on and I'm just I was just so disappointed because it makeup is not supposed to age you like this foundation like ages me. I just see lines, 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 lines. And I'm just like even like I'm I'm not that expressive with my eyebrows, but I had like lines up here and I was just like what the heck? Like it's not mm, -mm. It's not worth it. It isn't worth it, guys. So for me, this foundation was a no, no. So now I'm gonna go back into this concealer palette that I love so much. Back into this color, or this color, wait. Yeah, I'll use this color. No, that's too light. I'll use this color again and try to conceal. Like, I want you guys to see. See if you can see that. Look at, it's like, ooh, it's like wax. You see that? Wax, there's barely anything on this brush. Lord. So, maybe I'll mix them because that's not bright enough. And I said I was going to try. I said I was going to try. 
So you see this tugging and pulling under my eye? I'm gonna definitely need to exfoliate and do a mask after this. It's ridiculous. Now I'm gonna try to blend this out and I'm so mad because I'm looking at myself in the mirror and it looks like it's about to slay, but I know better. So just watch how long it takes to blend this out. So promising you about to come through when you're not. <laughs> Back into the concealer palette, take this contour shade and cream contour and see where we get with that. Let me grab another brush. Should have been prepared. Now it's time to set the face. I had such, such high hopes for this setting powder. And I mean, when I put it on, it is flawless. It looks so good until you take flash photography. Like, what is it called? Silica? Silica, all over your face. It's just, it gives the worst flashback ever. I'm talking about Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget Powder in the shade Banana. Like, I was rooting for this. Like Jackie said, I was rooting for this. Like, no, but seriously, I was rooting for this. It's such a beautiful yellow color. You look great in the sun. You look great in daylight, but don't take any pictures. Don't let nobody slip up and try to, oh, take a picture with me. You would be embarrassed and it would probably still post that picture. I see how bomb it looks when you first, first apply it. Like it really sets that makeup, okay? And I know some people are gonna say, don't apply so much. Like I've applied a little tiny bit, like barely, brush it on just to try to get it to work for me. It, it's not, it's not gonna work, it's just not. I tried it so many different ways. Y'all don't understand when I say I wanted this to work for me so bad, I wanted this to work. Wait, it just doesn't. It looks amazing though. <laughs> this is where it gets me. I haven't even, not even done my face yet and I'm already creasing. It's ridiculous. I look like I may just slay. I look like I might just slay, but don't be fooled. Look how pretty it set. I still look like a lemon. Now this product says contouring blush and bronzer. Now I understand bronzer is supposed to have a little sheen into it and it's supposed to like, you know, illuminate your face. But this, this is by e.l.f. The e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzer Duo and it's, I think it's Antigua, Antigua. I can't really see, but it's the one that looks like this. The, br the blush. It's supposed to have shimmers in it. I believe it's trying to, you know, trying to be like, you know, NARS orgasm and the, you know, the set they had, what was it? I forgot the name. Dang it, comment below if you know which one I'm talking about. But it was the blush and bronzer one. This blush has 
huge glitter flakes in it, like white glitter, it's not flattering. And then this is like a really reddish brown, not, like I understand it's bronzer, but it just wasn't, I just didn't like it on me. It just wasn't flattering on me, okay? So I'm just gonna bronze with this. Oh, and another thing it just reminded me because you see how I'm trying to like put the bronzer right here and it kind of doesn't want to go. When I'm using this powder, if I try to put on highlight after, that highlight is not sticking anywhere right here. It's not going on my face. And it's, I, it, it was so frustrating trying to highlight my face afterwards. And it's like highlight like down here. Well, highlight, that's not a word, is it? Highlighted. It's highlighted down here. All right here where this setting powder is will not get a drop of highlighter. It's ridiculous. And blend it all. Kinda went a little crazy. Okay, oh, I closed it like I didn't need the blush. So I'm gonna apply the blush too. This blush is just really chunky and glittery. The pigmentation is nice, not even gonna lie. If this was just a matte blush, it'll be so pretty. I just couldn't get down with the glitter on my face. It was a little more, you know, finely milled, a little better. It could work out, we could, we could work something out, but. Now, the fun part, highlight. This is another one by e.l.f. I was just in Target trying to get my e.l.f. life and I, it didn't work. So I got the e.l.f. golden bronzer and it's like a, a quad of different kind of, why does it say bronzer and it's a highlighter? Well for me, it's a highlighter. For my skin tone and deeper, it'd probably be a highlighter, but I just didn't really like it. I didn't really like how it looked on me. I think because maybe because all these colors are together, but let's try it anyway. Oh, that's why, because it was like really like white on me. It has like a under, like a white undertone. And this also, if I'm gonna compare to, let's compare it to something drugstore because something else affordable, we'll say NYX. Cause Elf and Nyx are like the main like drugstore, not the main ones, but, or Ruby Kisses too, because they have a highlighter that's really good. It's the All Over Glow. That one's really good. And they're around the same price. I think this was $3 and the All Over Glow was $3.99 or $4.99. That one's really nice and it gives you like a sheen. This one, my camera is trying to make it look pretty, but no, it's not. It's really white. And the, like you have to like put a lot on the brush to get any love from it i'm so mad because i feel like it's trying to look good and i hate these products on myself like i don't like how they look on myself and i feel like it's trying to play me and look pretty guys by the way i'm deep conditioning my hair if you guys care this swatch is really pretty and that's how it gets you to think it's gonna like work on you but on me, for my eyes, I, I like the warmer tones. I thought these colors were gonna be warmer. And it didn't work out that way for me, so. Let's just see what we can do. See what look we can put together.
But next, I wanted to put on eyeliner. So this eyeliner is from L'Oreal Infallible. This also came, I also got this from Influencer.com. They sent this to me complimentary for review purposes. And here you go your review. I didn't really like it. It says, it's a never fail eyeliner, 16 hour wear, and it's in black. And this eyeliner, let me, it's, lip products that I don't like to show you guys and they're from companies that I love but I just don't like this product so one is from BH Cosmetics I just used this lipstick in my recent makeup tutorial the grunge glam I just like I, I used it in the tutorial then I found out that I hated it later on in the day and I was like I can't I, I'm not gonna take it down like it's very pretty I was gonna say beautiful <laughs> it's very pretty it's very beautiful, but the, it does not wear, you guys. I mean, as soon as it sets and dries, if you smile, it crumbles. If you rub your lips like this, or if you eat something, literally it flakes off. Like, I'll show y'all. Yeah, and the second lip color is from LA Girl, and I also love LA Girl too. It's the Flat Pigment, Flat Finish Pigment Lip Gloss, and then this is the color Flor, like flower in Spanish. So yeah, that's what this one looks like. And it's such a pretty color. And then this is um, BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Icon. And I just used this one as well. And it's, it let me down. What liquid lipstick does that? It never sets. So these, this is a full face with all the products that I dislike, cause hate is a really strong word, but that's the name of the tag, products that you hate. But these are products that I dislike, strongly dislike on myself. Love the brands, just don't like these certain products. And I wanna show you guys how my face looks with flash photography because I'm, I'm sure you're probably looking like it's not even that bad, but like, really? Let me show y'all with flash. Take a picture with flash really quick. Especially that iPhone flash. iPhone flash will always let you know how you looking. Look how I'm looking. <laughs> I'm, looking. I'm looking ghostly. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want me to do any other tags, please leave them down below and please follow me on all social medias because I love to see you guys. I love to see what y'all look like. So I can put a face to the names that comment under the videos because I love all y'all comments. So, if you guys like this video, please give me a huge, huge thumbs up so I know that you guys like tags like this. And leave any comments down below, any suggestions that you guys have for me to do future videos. And please subscribe because I have some really cool stuff coming up and I'm really excited to show you guys. And yeah, guys, see you in my next video. Love you guys so, 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 so much. And see you next time. Bye.